Shalom everyone, welcome to this channel. Uh, I'm going to start with Hebrew lessons now, but before we're gonna start, um, I would like to ask apology with regards to my latest video. The what's this? The chapter where you can find this about the clean and unclean food. Well, be f you can find it on chapter 11 of the book of Leviticus instead of Leviticus 23 and then I'm going to start the Hebrew lessons or my topic today by with this question so in my last video I shared with you my testimony on how I was this I faced troubles in life that various troubles in life that I faced or should I say we faced through singing uh, Hebrew songs as my weapon okay and then I also mentioned the situation in the scripture the one in 2nd Chronicles verse of chapter 20 2nd Chronicles chapter 20 where they also what's this they succeeded in facing the situation or the trouble that they faced through singing uh, songs of praise and then also in the book of Acts chapter 16, also Paul and Silas are there. We can see that they also sing a song of praise. And then I said in my previous video that sometimes we forgot that the songs that they were singing are Hebrew songs. So I'm going to start this by asking you this question like this. So... <clears throat> You might be thinking in your mind that since, what's this, the people that I've been talking in the scripture are Hebrews, so they are using or singing Hebrew songs. And you might be thinking that whatever language that you have, you might be think or you might be asking, is the power same if you are go we are going to use Hebrew songs? Or we are going to use our own language to praise our Creator. So that might be the thing that is in your mind. So you might say, they are Hebrews, their language are Hebrews. And so they are praising our Creator using Hebrew songs. And you might say that whatever language you have, since that is your language, you can praise our creator using your language and our, the question is is the power same uh singing praises to our creator using our language or using hebrew language to sing a praise of songs or a song of praise to our creator is different or should i say more powerful and so that's the thing that we are going to find out in this video okay so first, I would like to invite you to go over, get your scripture, and try to go over to the book of Daniel, chapter 5. Okay. So there you can see a messenger carrying a message to a Babylonian king. And so expected, since he's a Babylonian, he his language is Babylonian language. Okay. But then, as you can see, as the what's this the finger of the messenger right on the wall the thing that he write there is mini mini tickle of parsing if i remember it right but if not kindly go over with that chapter so the question now what kind of language is that word and the answer is hebrew okay so the next question that we are going that might arise with that situation is why is it that the messenger used the Hebrew language in there and not a Babylonian language where he is sending or, or what, what's this? Why he was sent unto a Babylonian king. So why is it that he's using a Hebrew language and not a Babylonian language? So let's say his message might be easily understood, understand by the king. So why is it that he used uh, Hebrew language instead so I couldn't see any answer for that other than that is because that is his language so I don't know what will come into your mind but for me he used that language because for me that is his language 
So if that is his language, I would expect that that is also the language of the one who sent him. And with that, I would say, since as expected, the one who sent him is our creator. And that I would say that our creator and his messenger used Hebrew as their, what's this, as their, as the language of, that they are used as the medium of their communication. Okay, now the next thing that I would like to invite you to go over is in the book of Genesis or Bereshit, that is also, that's the, that's already translated as Genesis, but, but in origin, originally that, that is Bereshit, or should I say, in Hebrew, where our scripture is originally written, that is supposedly Bereshit, which means in the beginning. Okay, so in the book of Genesis, you can see there in chapter 3 that our creator called Adam and Eve, or supposedly that is Kawa, after they, they sinned or they disobeyed him eating that the fruit of uh, wisdom and knowledge that they are commanded not to eat too. After they have eaten that, after they disobeyed our creator, you can see them hiding and then our creator called them and there we can see the scenario that they are talking okay, there. There's a communication that, that say took place between Adam and our creator. And so with that, I would like to ask this question. What could be the language that we use as a medium of communication between Adam and our creator? And then I would say, since our creator, as we've seen it in the book of Daniel, that uh, the messenger that he sent used a Hebrew language to, to communicate, to say, to send his message to a Babylonian king. And then we derive from that, that mid, uh, the language that our creator and his messenger is using is Hebrew. I would expect, too, that our creator and Adam is using Hebrew as the medium of as the language that their medium of communication at the time and with that I would say uh, if we can go over to chapter 11 of the book of Genesis it says there in the verse 1 that there is just but one language that the mankind all throughout the earth is using before the what's this the confusion of language I would say that that land that one language it pertains to Hebrew language okay now if you try to go over with the next verses of that uh, chapter in Genesis Genesis 11 so from Genesis chapter 2 going forward until the end of the chapter you can see there the verses I will try to show to you that the language was confused and so with that we can ask that how was the language been confused? I would say that the language should not be confused unless there's a existence of a different languages, okay? So the language of mankind was been confused through a lot of different, through the existence of a lot of, I say, languages, okay? And the next question that we're going, that will arise there is, was it our creator's uh was this best purpose to confuse the man's language or was it because he feels so good that he confused the language of the man or was it because he was angry he dislike what dislikes what the man is doing there that's why he punishes them by giving them different languages so their language would be confused and so unity will be removed and so they will stop what they are doing there so there will be conflict there will be disagreement between them so they can stop the building of the tower of the of babel at the time because he don't like what he's doing and so with that i would say that that is not an excuse to be used so as to what's this to have because usually that scenario was been used by a lot of teachers of the scripture that it's fine to call him or especially the Messiah or should I say the, our Redeemer a different name because our Creator has given us different languages. I would say not so. Now let's try to answer the question that 
this I first give you before, as I started this video. And that question is, was the power, is the power of the songs or the praise of a different or another language the same with the power using uh, Hebrew songs? Okay, that's the, the, the question that I given you a while ago. So if we can see in the scenario of, what's this, Genesis chapter 11, the existence of other languages is the, the result of his dislikes of the, the doing of, see, the descendants of Ham. And I would say that if you're going to compare the languages that he has given to mankind because he dislikes what he's doing, so they will be confused, so there will be conflict, so there will be disagreement compared to the Hebrew language, which is his language. And if we try to look at Hebrew as his language or the language of our creator, I would say that that is his word. And if we try to see in the Genesis chapter 1 how he created everything on earth, we can see that he used he able to create everything through his word and what word would it be so if his language is hebrew i could say that through hebrew language he created everything and so i would say that hebrew language is our creator's power and i would say that hebrew language that would be the thing that I'm going to deal as we go over Hebrew lessons. That's the history of the Hebrew language. And as what's this as a starting point of the topic, I would say that since the Hebrew language is his language, his word, and through his word he create and through this Hebrew language that is his word, he created everything. I would say that that is his power. And this exists as our creator exists. And since he is new beginning and new end, I would say that this Hebrew language has new beginning and new end too. And so compared with, the ex with other languages, I would say that nothing can compare Hebrew language. And that I would say, agree with me or not, I would say that using Hebrew songs to praise our creator is so, so different from praising our creator with other languages I, I would say agree with me or not but that is my standpoint and might you might I, I hear this many times already you would say that uh singing hebrew songs is is what's this it's hard it's hard to pronounce it's hard to learn the 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 see say the words and it's so hard to sing a song that you don't understand. And so I would say then that would be a very good reason for you to learn Hebrew language. And I'm going to share with you as we go along how we deal that problem. So I'm gonna end this video this time. And I would say I would like to do it in my Cebuano dialect. So kung naa koy mga ka sika tribu ka kadugo ka parintihan countrymen nga gusto nga himuon ako akong video sa ato ang pinulungang Cebuano just kindly make your request so palihog paghimo og request i send sa akong messenger or sa comment section diri sa akong YouTube channel so hangtod sa sunod higayon mi ang kalinaw ang kalipay o ang panalangin mudangat sa inyong panimalay hangtod sa sunod higayon so uh, let me try to say it is quite so hard so I'm going to finish this video this time until next time yes willing me shalom great peace blessing and joy come to your home until next time shalom <music>